You've done like a million things, I'm so chopping. <laughs> Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another episode of The Office Chef. Now, I used to be an ex-hotel chef for the past 14 years and now I'm a food content writer for chefluy.com. So today, we won't be comparing ingredients but we'll be comparing chefs once again. Let's welcome Jen! Hi! Okay. So this is Jen. You may have seen her on Food Finders where she co-hosts with my boss. Now, some of you may also know her as Master Chef Singapore Season 1, runner-up. And she's also the co-owner of Sour Bomb Bakery. Um, very excited to be here cooking instead of eating. Even though, That's like, why rather, rather eat? And Jen is still eating. The ingredient that we're using today is jasmine rice. Wow! Oh my god, that's such an interesting ingredient. <laughs> so we're gonna see if an ex-hotel chef or a master chef alumni can make a better rice dish. And our Chef Louis team is gonna judge for us. I mean, I'm gonna wash the rice first. Very important to wash it wrong. Yes. Up. So today, my dish name is called Herbal Five Treasure Rice with Dual Egg Cheesy Omelette. So actually, this dish is a combination of two ideas. Recently, I went to KL and I tried this Romagai dish with cheese. I was like, wow, this can actually work for my rice. Like one day, I had like herbal soup left over from home. So I decided to use it to cook my rice and it tasted not bad. Yeah, so that's my inspiration. Your dish very ballsy. Ballsy. So what I'll do first is I'll sauté the mushrooms and dried shrimp and Chinese sausage garlic and Then after all the flavouring and fragrance is out I'll throw in the rice and sauté it for a while and Then finally I'll strain out the herbal broth and use it to cook my rice in the steam oven Can I try? And you know right, I hate... You hate what? Chinese sausage. You hate Chinese sausage? Oh no. I have not found saw anyone who doesn't like Chinese sausage. I think not my dad's one. Okay, now that I'm done, I will toss in the toasted sesame seeds and peanuts. That's so sharp. And spring onion. Yeah. Some additional sesame oil. That's so good It's like lo mai kai but not neat. I will prepare my dual egg cheesy omelette which is made out of century egg and egg and some chilli flakes for a bit of spice Okay, once the pan is sufficiently heated, I'll throw in my omelette Then the last step is just to do the omelette and make it wrap over the rice like a omu rice My dish isn't as complicated as yours So this is a dish that I always make for big groups of people This dish is called nasi ulam and I actually learned it from a Peranakan friend Nasi is rice, ulam is herbs so it's just a very hobby rice. My rendition is adding flavours that will complement the herbs really well. And this is more like a Jen nasi ulam and I think a pranakan will like slap me. <laughs> so first off, you have to pre-prep the rice so that it cools down. So what we do is that we just put it with um, lemongrass and kaffir lime and we just steam it in the oven. And then we have to chop all the herbs very 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 finely. This is really labour intensive. Yes! How Thank about you. the Thank you flour also? Everything, everything. He's done like a million things. I'm so chopping. <laughs> ah! You just do a time lapse on me, just chopping. <laughs> um, you have to saute your sakura abi with some of the oil. So you see, like now it's already like really brown. So we're gonna add the rice. So after you add the rice and it's like popping like that, it's very nice. I'm gonna add the taban talanga. And then you'll see, like, the rice will turn orange. Chef, can I try some? Can! Mm. <laughs> Until... Mm, the rice <laughs> Then we're gonna add all the more hardy vegetables first. So that will be your onion, rolled flour, and chilli. Then the herbs, I usually will add, like, after I let it cool down a bit. Mm. So that the herbs are not dead. Okay guys, I randomly want to add more tobiko and ordered last minute and it just came on time. I just wanted like that salty bite, like the pops of eggs inside my dish. Ready. So for today's Jasmine's Rice Challenge, we have with us our boss man Seth and answer our video executive. 
โอ้แล้วจะเอาไปกับไทยฝ่ายไรเป็นยองยองฝ่ายจีนโอเคไทยโอเคยองยองสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดี slightly spicy rice spice the rice is why is it like lumi wetter yeah wetter glutinous rice oh I really want your dumpling. It's a bit bad some vibes. Yeah, like yeah, bad some vibes. Yeah, this one is more Chinese. It's a very like your ama cook the fried rice. I don't think my ama can cook this. Niama fried rice. I like the omelette one. I like the egg. Okay. Rice flavorful. And to me, it's a very familiar taste. Familiar from where I don't know lah, but it's familiar. Familiar. Yeah. Hmm. I like this one actually. I just saying. I think like. No, like. Yeah. Actually, you want to be fair? That's why you say. Actually, I prefer like the drier. Uh, the dry texture for for rice. Yeah, but I prefer the texture of this rice. But I like the omelet. Ah, da da da! Give me a bowl. Yeah. Ta ta! I feel like the chef is very representative of what they make. And when you look at it, you kind of aga know who is it. Really? Jay, it looks like you're a draw. Wow! Give me a give me a tie break tie break. Dean, come and try. What does Dean like? I like gems. Yeah. Oh. I must like me. Okay, that's it for today's tasting. Thank you so much. And okay, back to work. So that's it for today's Jasmine Rice Challenge. And congrats to Jen. But I think I put up a very good fight, lah. No, you definitely did. They are both very flavorful. And I was expecting that one of it would taste less flavorful when you eat two at the same time. But it didn't. They both had like their own like strong flavors that you can reach out to, you know. So if you have any suggestions on what ingredients I should use next for my next episode, or do you have another challenger in mind? So as usual, remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Wait, do you have nail polish on your nails? Yeah, he did in KL. Oh my god!